show you project parameters. So I'm going to get straight to it and I'm going to show you how to set them up and one of the ways that I've used them so far. Uh, this is a this is um, just the sample project that comes with Revit when you download it. If you don't have this, not a big deal. Uh, it's not necessary. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set a project parameter up. So if we come up here to the tab, if we tab over to, to, to the manage tab, my interface looks a bit different probably than yours. Um, it's All the buttons are still there. It's just uh, because of the way that I have my screen set up right now. It's kind of minimizing some of these, making them a bit smaller so they fit correctly. But if you come over to the settings um, panel, and you'll look in here, and there will be a button that looks like that. It's a little bit small, but that's the project parameters button. So another way you can access that is, you can see here there's not keyboard shortcuts, but if you press KS for keyboard shortcuts, you can actually come in here um, and look that up. And you can see project param parameters the command and then the path to get there so I'm gonna press on that and you can see I've already got a couple already in there so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is add one you can modify them modify the ones that are already in there um, you know especially if you're using them that uh, definitely would be handy uh, instead of having to create a new one so and then also remove so I'm gonna add one so we've got project parameter uh, can appear in schedules but not tags. Shared parameters uh, uh, can be shared in multiple projects and families and so on. Um, so I want to stick to project parameters and I'm just going to call this construction uh, task. Um, I want this to be instance. Um, you can go ahead and pick type if that's something you want to do. I want to choose instance for this um, because I may have, you know, uh, different variations of things. So I, I want this to be uh, um, um, this parameter to be filled out. So um, I'm going to keep it as common for this. So I mean, it works the same way as any other parameter. You kind of just set this stuff out depending on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, text. Um, and I'm just going to say construction. So now you come over here and you see categories. Uh, you can uh, filter this stuff out depending on what you're trying to find. Um, hide, unchecked. Um, kind of the same way that a lot of the other uh, interfaces are with, with this kind of stuff. But if you, if you come down here, you can see that there's everything in there. So... For this specific example, I want everything, so I'm just going to come down here and press check all, and uh, I'm going to back check, make sure that looks good, all right, and then I'm going to press OK, looks good, press OK, and if I grab an element, come down here to construction, you can see underneath the construction sequence, um, I have construction task, which is the one I just created. So it's a text parameter, so I, I, I can put whatever it is in there. Um, and it's just associated with that one instance of that type. So come over here to this other pile and see that. Uh, so <coughs> I'm hoping that this will link in with the 4D uh, videos that I'm going to push out later. But ultimately, uh, and that'll explain a little bit better on why I picked picked instance to set it up, but um, that's pretty much how you set a parameter up, a project parameter. It's nice because you can control it at a central spot on how, you know, how the task is task is is built out or the parameter is built out, and uh, how it's going to function within the project. But the neat thing is, is you know, for example, with this, if things are added to this project then they're automatically associated, that parameter is automatically associated with it. So if I go up to, um, let's think, uh, uh, like Revit City and start grabbing a bunch of things or BIM objects, um, 
I'll, you know, I can bring them in there and then have that parameter associated with it. So it's it's pretty nice, especially if you have like a standardized way of, you know, uh, specific objects having having parameters, and so that you don't have to constantly go in there and update all these these uh, types individually. So I hope this helps. Let me know um, what you think about it. Uh, if there's uh, some other things you want to learn, or if there's anything I missed, uh, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure to to like, comment, uh, share, and uh, again, thanks a lot.